hi guys today's video as you can tell by the title i am finally talking about my scoliosis it's not that i've been like trying to hide it or anything i'm very open about the fact that i have scoliosis but i just have never gotten around to filming a video and you guys really want to know and honestly scrolling through like who i follow and like my explore page i don't really see that many like fitness people talk about like having scoliosis or like weightlifting with scoliosis so if you follow any people who are like um that have scoliosis and talk about it comment them down below because i definitely want to follow people that i relate to just a little psa i feel like you guys know this i am not a doctor i am not a spine professional chiropractor or whatever i'm just talking about my experience with scoliosis weightlifting with scoliosis and things that helped me just get on into the video don't forget to hit subscribe follow me on instagram Bailey stewart follow my tiktok as well i've started to post there more often kind of wrote down some key points i wanted to address and then also did a Q&A on my Instagram story to get questions that like you guys specifically had. Start with my background. I'm pretty sure I found out I had scoliosis in middle school. It wasn't too bad then. And in high school, it got worse. I favored a side and I started to limp because like the muscles, like when I got stressed, would tense up. And that's why I ended up having a limp. I was made fun of. I've talked about this before, but it just like is a memory that is like stuck in my brain and I still, when I think about it, am like baffled by it. Senior year, senior year I did not care. My limp was really bad, junior and senior year. But I also just, I was in like a phase like I just wanted to be done. And I remember this freshman girl and her little friends walked in front of me, looked back, saw me limping and then started busting out laughing and then started mocking the limp I had and the way I walked. And I was just baffled. Like what kind of person makes fun of someone who limps or has like clearly has something like wrong that they can't help. And I, but whatever, I was just, I just laughed. I was like, if that makes you feel good about yourself and whatever's going on in your personal life, cause clearly something was going on. I mean, for someone to make fun of someone else for no reason, they have issues but anyways high school i had a limp it got bad ask anyone who went to my high school like knew me in high school i was the girl that limped and i went to a chiropractor for over a year i'm pretty sure my parents were uninsured so i just eventually cut that out i remember in high school last time i went to talk like be diagnosed for my scoliosis or like talk to a doctor about it i was in i want to say the around the 40 degrees around that area and i'm pretty sure he said 50 degrees is when they start to consider like the surgery immediately i was like i'm not getting surgery that's a no my parents also probably couldn't afford it because we were uninsured so i just that was just like surgery was just never in my head that i was gonna get and I, yeah i've always struggled with severe back pain so after high school i'm mean, slightly better but it was definitely triggered by stress like it was like my muscles would spaz up, get really tense. And that's when, like a lot of people talk about my hip hop home. Let me stand just, just so I can kind of like show you guys what I'm talking about. So in high school, I always stood like this. And it wasn't even like back then I didn't care about my, my butt. So it wasn't like I was out here trying to like pop my hip. This is how I naturally stood 24 seven because it was comfortable. I favored this side, which I think led to this muscle being it caused the gluten balance and the back issues that i will get into so i was always walking like this and then like lifting all my like muscle strength was like pulling this side which limped but still was like in this position when limping it was yeah um caused a lot of muscle imbalance especially with my back so my left side very very strong because that was the side i was like i guess using to move if that makes sense so this side of my back the muscle is so strong the other one was like non-existent no muscle on that side at all which i think was really pulling the spine like the muscle which did not help my curvature at all and then obviously the gluten balance because one side was just 
I was constantly standing in that position. And I feel like a lot of people with scoliosis usually have like a gluten balance, muscle imbalance, stuff like that. That's a little bit of the background. Honestly, I kind of got scrambled. My brain just, I can't, <laughs> I feel like that was all over the place. But so I did a bunch of research and when I was like lifting weights, I knew I had to be extra careful because I had scoliosis. And so my main focus was to build up the weaker side which really, really helped. Obviously, I still have some imbalance. Yeah, I guess I'm going to one was focusing on building the weaker side. So if you have scoliosis, I 10 out of 10 recommend doing this as well. So like for back rows, like dumbbell back rows, I would do heavier weight on the weaker side, more reps. So what I would do, is, especially for like example, back rows, dumbbell back rows that's where i feel like single movements i was about to say single leg but like just single movements where you focus on one side at a time is very beneficial if you do have scoliosis or an imbalance somewhere because you can do more reps on the weaker side you can add more weight or just not even do the other side at all because that's what i had to do for my gluten balance like i'll do hip thrust and then i'll superset it with b stance hip thrust but i will only do it on the weaker side because my imbalance is pretty noticeable so i just want to get it even so i won't even do the other side with the b stance i don't need to i'm trying to build up the other one so until that other one can match up i'm going to only do that but obviously once it matches up then i'll do both Okay, yeah, so once I started focusing on strengthening the weaker side, like that muscle, my back pain, obviously every now and then I still get it, but my back pain became significantly less. I don't limp anymore. I don't know if that's like from lifting or what, but yeah, I, I don't have that same limp in high school. I mean, as you guys know, I, I walk normal. I'm very thankful for that. Next is focusing on form before adding weight. So with scoliosis, you have to be more cautious than the average person. Obviously, everyone has to be cautious with form and weight, but one wrong move and you could be out for days, weeks. I mean, you could end up injuring yourself more so than others because we do already have the spine issues. People have commented on me doing lighter weight before. I'm not out here ego lifting. Y'all can comment, make fun, laugh all you want. I can still hip thrust pretty dang heavy, but I'm going to focus on, you know, preventing myself from injury rather than ego lifting just to show off. I just think it's super important to focus on your form before you start trying to add in weights and lifting heavy because just to prevent injury, slowly work on building up the weight. Don't let other people and what they're lifting make you feel like you need to ego lift and lift heavier than you really can and then your form is bad, you mess up your back. And also stretching. So I stretch before and after my workouts, it's very important. Especially if like my muscles are tense that day, I don't wanna immediately go into lifting. So I love dynamic stretching, mobility stretching before workouts and then static stretching after. So mobility dynamic is when you're constantly moving through the stretch, you're not holding the stretch for a certain amount of time. And then static is when you are holding the position. I usually do that after. But there's so many benefits to dynamic stretching. Warms up your muscles, gives you better range of motion, prevents injury, super important. Comment down below if you guys wanna see like a mobility dynamic stretching video and show you guys some movements. Okay, so next is just being realistic. So having muscles built up around the spine may help prevent back pain and prevent your curvature from getting worse, but obviously it's not gonna straighten out your spine. It's not gonna be some magical cure. I still have back pain, but it has helped. It can help. Just make sure you're being very careful. My biggest tip again is just working on strengthening your back muscles. I think that's what really helped me Honestly, the best way I did that was obviously train back, but adding single side movements to my workout. Just kind of like remembering that you do have scoliosis and if it hurts, don't do it. Like for me, I wasn't squatting for years. When I first got into fitness, I couldn't even do a body weight squat. Like my, like I just could not do the movement 
my form was terrible my back hurt even with body weight like just and I couldn't go down like it was weird it was I don't know but obviously I can squat now I just have to go lighter weight be very mindful of my form and if something hurts stop don't push through it if it hurts stop lighten the weight um body weight just focus on your form all right i guess i'll answer some of the questions you guys had do you get neck pain from it if so how do you help it so i actually was born with torticollis um which is twisting of the neck so i came out like this <laughs> and on it, my mom said even for a while that's how like when i was little that's just how i was it obviously worked itself out I always get serious like neck pain and I honestly feel like that probably caused my scoliosis. I don't really know. I'm not a doctor. But yeah, I was born with torticollis, which is twisting of the neck, I'm pretty sure. So I get cricks in my neck very easily. And so if I get neck pain from lifting, like I said, I will just stop. I'm not going to push myself. Um, but I guess just in giving yourself ample rest time. Um, I don't really go to a chiropractor anymore, but I know I probably should because that can definitely help. Like if you get neck pain a lot, try going to a chiropractor, how it affects glute training and how you discover your weaker side. Okay, so I always knew my weaker side, even from like high school, just because my glute imbalance was pretty noticeable and my back muscles. It's for me, it's very easy to see my weak side because I can feel it. Um, yeah, you can just feel the built up side versus the weaker side. Um, does it affect my glute training? Yes, to a degree because I have, like I said, I have to be very careful with my form, the weight, glute imbalance. My imbalance needs help ASAP. I would just really focus on single leg movements, focus on doing more weight or higher reps on the weaker side. For me, um, like, I do hip thrusts and then again I will superset with B stance but I only do the weak side with that superset like obviously I'll do normal hip thrusts but then superset the weaker side only with the B stance movement because my imbalance is pretty noticeable so until I can get it to be non noticeable then I will do both legs for the B stance superset so that's just my tip single leg movements are key because you can really focus on the weaker side mm. How do you adjust your deadlift form with scoliosis? I have scoliosis as well. So just like recording myself really helps because then I can look back and be like, ooh, okay, I need to fix this, 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 and that. Um, I've tried a back thing before. Honestly, I just get lazy and just forget to bring it because it, it's so bulky. But I mean, it, ha it does feel kind of comfortable when I'm deadlifting to have that on just to kind of help me not help me with my form. So if you do have scoliosis, you could definitely try like a, a back. What is it called? A back brace? No. Okay, so sorry about the noise. Hopefully the camera is not picking it up. I'll probably look back and you won't even be able to hear me. But did you think you had it before getting diagnosed? Like, did you feel the difference? Yes. So I, my parents were always skeptical and knowing I had torticollis, like I, I came out the womb uh, with torticollis. So we just kind of always was, were skeptical because I was always complaining about back pain and parents were kind of like, something's off. And like I'd bend over and you could like see that was not a straight spine. And then so we just went to the doctor and uh, found out. So then they did the chiropractor for actually years later and then once like it got really bad in high school like limping uh they were like all right we need to figure something out so they thought a chiropractor would help i'm not kidding weightlifting has definitely helped me you have to be careful it might take you longer to build up weight it might take you longer to perfect your form you just have to be patient give it time don't be embarrassed if you have to lift super light don't stress it don't feel guilty if you are doing lighter weight than other people you know you have scoliosis. You know you have to be extra, extra careful because if you do decide to ego lift, you could end up hurting yourself and then being out of the gym a lot longer than if you'd just gone lighter. That's my biggest tip. Don't let other what other people are doing pressure you or make you feel like if you're not lifting a certain weight that you should feel a certain way, you know? 
I'm hoping I addressed everything. If you've had surgery, scoliosis surgery, I don't know anything about that. I didn't have the surgery, so I can't really guide you in like lifting after scoliosis surgery. Definitely talk to your doctor because I, I don't know. Because I know you have like a rod in your back. Um, so I don't because like that's just I don't have experience in that and obviously if you have a rod in your back you probably have to be really really careful so I'm just saying like if people are like like me know they have scoliosis and didn't get surgery or their maybe their degree wasn't as severe for the surgery but yeah hopefully this video kind of like clarified some stuff or helped Give you some pointers tips i don't know i feel like when i talk i tend to ramble and go every direction so i'm sorry hopefully this video helped but if you have scoliosis you are not alone if you are lifting with scoliosis and feel like i don't know hopefully this video helped you guys you're not alone we're all out here just trying to better ourselves and not get injured so yeah um that is my lifting with scoliosis video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below any questions if I did not answer anything or, or anything that you were curious about or if I didn't make sense. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Follow me at Stuart. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.